All right, so uh, two more examples here of multiplying whole numbers. Um, and this time we have uh, two two-digit numbers. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm really just kind of pretending like I'm multiplying by a one-digit number, but I do that multiple times, and then I have to do some addition. So um, in our first example, we've got 42 times 35. I'm just going to pretend like the 3 is not even there. So I'm going to pretend like he's not even there and just do like we did before. So 5 times 2 is 10, so I'm not going to write it all down this time. Um, we'll keep the 0 and we'll carry the 1. 5 times 4 is 20. We add 1. That will give us, well, 21. Okay, so now I've taken that digit and I've multiplied him by everything on top. And then I just move to the next digit and I repeat this process. But I have to be careful where I drop things down. Um, I'm going to add, sometimes people will put a little x or a 0. Um, I'm going to put a 0. Okay, so uh, we'll do 3 times 2, which is going to be 6. And that makes sense, really, because if you think about it, this is kind of like having a 30, you know, if you think about that as being a 0. Um, 30 times 2 would give us 60, so it does, uh, you know, it, it shouldn't be a 6 at all. Um, so then, uh, nothing to carry. 3 times 4 is 12. And now what we're going to do is we're, we're just going to add all this stuff together. 0 plus 0 is 0. Uh, 1 plus 6 is 7. 2 plus 2 is 4. And then uh, you can think about that as being a 0 plus 1 is 1. So it says if we multiply 42 times 35, we'll get 1,470 as our solution. So let's do uh, one more here. And I mean, if you think about it, that's really what you're doing. You're doing 5 times 42, and then you're doing 30 times 42, and then we're just adding those together. That's all we're doing. We're kind of breaking a, a multiplication problem into sort of just two addition, pro you know, or an addition problem. Okay. That's really all this process does. All right, same thing. 8 times 7, that's 56, so I'm going to keep the 6 and carry the 5. Let's see, 8 times 6 is 48. 48 plus 5 is going to be 53. And now I'm going to do, so there's the 8 times 67. And now I'm going to kind of think about doing, in a sense I'm now doing 50 times 67. So I'm going to drop down my 0. So let's see, 5 times 7, I'm going to scratch out that number. I used to always uh, accidentally use it again. So I'm going to get rid of it. I'm done with it. Um, 5 times 7 is 35. So I'm going to carry the 3, actually. So let's not forget about the 3 that we have to carry. Um, 5 times 6 is 30. And then if we add 3, that'll give us, well, 33. And again, we just do our addition. So 6 plus 0 is 6. 3 plus 5 is 8. Well, 5 plus 3 is 8. And then 0 plus 3 is 3. So it says if we multiply, we'll get 3,886 as our answer.